No? You want to follow then? Okay, you follow Martini then. <laughs> Get Mama's hair. Oh yeah, when he gets tired, he'll, he'll, he'll let me know and he'll take off into a, a trot and go right on by you. What's really nice is Bob can do probably 95% of the hook up and getting the animal ready. He does his own driving. But it also gives the individual independence. Otherwise, you know, he would be um, kind of out there not being able to participate or he's always depending on me or you know, someone else to get him around to do something like this. This is just a wonderful, wonderful um, outing for all of us because instead of us going out, walking in the trails, walking the woods, mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you, I almost say this is the best. We can't get any better than this. Now, how did you specifically get into karting? A friend of ours who lives in um, Allentown. We became friends when both of us... Is that Karen and Al? Yeah, Karen and Al Hobby. Yeah, it's just a little on the west us, side of uh, Fort here on this south of 69. Both of us were a part of Michigan Llama Association. And we had met. We found we had a lot in common. And uh, so they invited us to, our, to their place. And I noticed, you know, she had the car and I asked her questions. Uh, and believe it or not, it's like one thing led to another. Well, if she can do it, and she's deaf, there's no reason why I can't do it. So she purchased his half brother back in, I would say, probably 2004, I believe it was. And then uh, the year later, we purchased him. And then she went on and she got one more, I think two more after that, for her parting llama. And um, so I've been with him, but when I go, it's usually just Martini and myself, and you know, it's kind of like, it's okay, it's fun, but to have that company would have been nice. And uh, so the opportunity came up when friends of hers that also became friends of ours um, are worldwide trainers of this particular um, hobby. And um, so they asked me, they said, do you know of anybody who would like to purchase, which is him, Evan, um, Friends of ours who are also trainers would like to continue on, but they can't with having him and several other llamas uh, that are carting, but you can only have so many. And then at that point, uh, she wants to continue the training aspect and bring up others. So she finally opted to sell him. And I said, mm, I don't need another animal. We have seven as it is, and that's enough for now. And the more I thought about it, one thing led to another and I decided, you know what, I can't pass up this opportunity because he is almost Delta Society Therapy for Pets, one of the very few llamas that will be qualified for that. And then there was also, um, Let's catch up. you know, we're, we're thinking about it and thinking, you know what, Bob uh, can go, plus this animal is trained in packing, uh, he has won nationals just like this boy, they've won nationals. Um, that is quite an honor, and uh, when you have ribbons galore, there's, you know, there's a higher calling for him and to be put to use. So here she has, this gal has, I think, four carding llamas. And, you know, that many, you can maybe take him out maybe once every so often. And uh, so when she opted to sell him and then the timing was right and the stars lined up, we ended up going. And so I purchased him without Bob's knowledge, got him as a... Um, Father's Day present to him, and then a year later they delivered him personally. So now that this has only been since June, believe it or not, that Bob has been parting. Uh, With us being part of the Michigan Llama Association, I'm also um, chairperson the carding uh, committee, and um, it's just one of the committees of many that we have through the association. And so we're trying to really promote. Um, the hobby and uh, have outings and uh, I think we're just probably one of the very very few people who are active in carding. There might be maybe six people if we're lucky that do that much. Um, and Bob and I just physically who go out and then also friends of ours who have one now that they use uh, that I was mentioning to you that she's deaf. Come on, walk on. Um, that we end up um, we haven't gotten together, but unfortunately, it's just timing, more or less. 